guys. So this unit has a standing pilot. So you got a thermal couple that sends millivolts to the gas valve to keep the pilot on. It went out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna manually start this. And I'm gonna show you what readings you get when you have a bad thermal couple. So I'm gonna leave it attached on the assembly. So my pilot is lit. I have one lead at the end of my thermal couple that was in the gas valve. The other lead, I'm just gonna put on the copper. You'll see the meter, the reading. I'm not generating any millivolts. It might jump up and down, but I'm not generating enough millivolts to pull the coil in the gas valve. So when I depress my pilot, it will go off. So let's go ahead and change this thermal couple. This is where your gas comes out for a pilot, the standing pilot. This is your thermal couple. This reads millivolts, sends it to the gas valve, and opens the gas valve and keeps it open. All right guys, so now this is out of the unit. Let's go ahead and test it again. I have one side of the meter right before the insulator, and the other side is on the copper. If I apply heat to this thermal couple, I should generate around 20 to 30 DC millivolts. So let's go apply heat and see what happens. So as you've seen, we got it pretty hot and we did not generate enough DC millivolts. Let's go ahead and change it. 